oh god don't you just hate it when you're walking down the street and everyone's staring at you i mean that's not happening to me and it probably wouldn't anyway because i'm as you can see near a field in the middle of nowhere some sheep there but if people were it would probably be because i'm the main character except that's not true either it would probably be because i'm wearing this monstrosity it probably looks like a big pedometer or something like that it's not i'm gonna just tell you what it is and why i'm wearing it it's very early it's not even seven o'clock i had to get up at six this morning and i don't even have a job anymore so that feels cruel after an early start i got in the car and headed to london for my hospital appointment Regular viewers of my channel will know that I had heart surgery a couple of months ago and so my cardiologist wanted me to be fitted with a 72 hour ECG tape to monitor my heart and see how it's doing after the surgery. I've worn these a few times before and essentially what they do is they pick up any unusual activity in your heart that you might not even be aware of. We got to the hospital a bit early so I went to grab a coffee before my appointment where I ended up sat in front of these framed bullets. So make of that what you will. In the hospital, loads of COVID rules still apply, so I had to go in by myself, which was fine. As I said, I've had these before, they don't really phase me. I didn't have to wait very long, and then it doesn't take very long to fit either, so they just gave me some instructions on how to look after it, and then I was off on my way home again. I am home. I have got my monitor on i'll just take my jumper off so you can see a bit clearer i have one little thing tag i don't know what they're called there i have one up here and i have one on the other side and then this is clipped onto the top of my skirt this is the bit that's doing all the recording what's going on i have to wear this for 72 hours so it's not coming off till sunday morning I can't have a shower for the first 24, so it's going to be a bit smelly. And then I have some spare tags in here for when I do have a shower and I need to take it off and change it, basically. I've noticed that this occasionally beeps. I don't know why. I can only assume that it's either an error message, but my mum is a nurse and she's looked at it and she says there's nothing wrong with it. This, my friends, is called foreshadowing. Or that it's just recording something that my heart is doing at that time. I've got a little diary, which is where I need to write down if I suddenly experience any symptoms, palpitations, dizziness, feeling short of breath, something like that. I need to write it down and the time so that then when they get this back, they can look at the data they've got from that time and see if they can work out what was going on. I've worn these before. They are fairly fine. They're a bit annoying. As you can see, there's quite long wires. And even if I tuck this into my skirt, I've still got quite a lot dangling down. So that sort of needs to be tucked in as well. But I have worn some in the past that I've had to wear like a strap around my neck to hold it here and it's been like a big sort of almost looking like a cassette player and then again with all of these tags on so this by comparison much less bother okay i've spoken too soon i've i've tangled it oh there we go there we go i've undone it i've done i've undone it i thought i'd film and show you what i do over the next three days while i am wearing this so i can show you just how normal i can get about life really if anything i need to live life normally so that they can check if anything is happening that I do, I'm not aware of, that I'm not having symptoms of while it's happening. I've also seen a lot of tweets going around reminding people that after, you know, however long in lockdown this summer, we need to make sure that we're not commenting on people's weight, uh, stretch marks, scars, birthmarks, any, I don't know, any other type of skin condition or something about their appearance that makes them different that they might be self-conscious of. This is not the time to be bringing it up after 18 months. I think the same is true of medical devices. People who've been shielding have had it particularly hard. The last thing they want is you being unnecessarily nosy and frankly rude 
by asking about it or pointing it out when, you know, they're trying to be discreet about the fact that they're wearing something like that. The prime example for me, I stopped going out when I wore these because sometime, one time someone said to me as a joke, do, do you ever worry if people think it looks like a bomb? And I was like, well, I fucking do now. So just keep your comments, your jokes, your questions to yourself unless you are prompted, unless someone opens up the opportunity for you to ask questions or for you to say whatever you want to say, just say nothing. Your opinion is not needed. Right, I'm going out for a walk now and I'm going to wear it out and proud like this and see what happens. But I just remembered I bought this ridiculously on a whim. This body chain. <laughs> and I'm going to, uh, do you know what? Might as well accessorise it. Let's go. Oh god, it doesn't fit. That shouldn't have been that difficult. Beautiful, now we're good to go. Angel. I feel like I could be like a cool roller skate girl with a Walkman, except I'm just an ill girl with an ECG machine. <laughs> I decided that since I'm now back living in my hometown, I would go and do a walk that I haven't done in a really long time and used to do all the time as a child. This ramp is so steep, it's aptly named The Struggle. From there, I walked down the street I used to live on and down to the woods where we used to walk the dog. And of course, I climbed over the gate for old time's sake just to feel like a big kid again, really. Even though there's a perfectly good path right next to it. I was gonna vlog as I walked, but... I forgot there's a school nearby and it's three o'clock and there's teenagers. Does anyone else like, is anyone else like a grown up <laughs> who weirdly gets intimidated by children? Like, is that trauma from bullying that I'm like, oh no, please don't help me. I carried on my walk though and I even managed to find the old tree that I used to climb as a child. I wasn't really feeling brave enough to get very high, but there you go, it just goes to show that you can still do very normal things, including climbing... well, is climbing a tree a normal thing? Well, you can still climb a tree while wearing an ECG. Well, not only did I vindicate myself by being stared at by loads of people, um, the teenagers also shouted, what are you looking at, at me? Um, and scared me, so... Um, yeah, well done me for really speaking my worst fears into existence today. It's going well. Hello, it's 10 o'clock. I'm very tired. I can't shower for the first 24 hours anyway. So I'm gonna wash the essential bits and then my armpit. I went on a long walk today um, which was probably ill-advised given the whole no shower thing, so I smell quite a bit. So yeah, time for a quick sink wash. I'm going to bed now. I think I'm just gonna clip this onto like the top of my pyjama top because I don't know what's gonna be the least annoying. But anyway, I'm very tired. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Hello, I'm half asleep. I didn't sleep very well. I wasn't very comfortable with all of this gear last night. Um, it's sort of digging in a bit where it's under my sports bra. I'm going to do a workout quickly now, early in the day, have my shower and then not shower again until tomorrow. I'm not sure what it'll be like working out with this on. I'll probably clip it to my top rather than to my leggings because I think it'll be more likely to dig in. You might think that I shouldn't work out with this on, but actually it's probably advised because I'm supposed to be living my life as normally as possible so that they can see what's going on with my heart when I don't necessarily notice anything. So it's good to get a gauge of what's going on with my heart mid-workout in case it's doing anything weird. So I'm gonna find the energy to get up and go and do that. Now, overall, working out with this on was fine. My only problem was that the clip isn't very sturdy and any time I did anything that involved jumping, it would come undone. For some of the exercises, that meant that I would just end up holding it because it was easier, but then there were some things that I just found it was too difficult logistically to do and I ended up sitting them out. Well, as you can tell, that was hard. I'm gonna hop in the shower now, so I thought I'd just show you taking this off and then when I get out, I will show you. Um, me figuring out how to put it back on again because I haven't done this in a while. 
Right, one. Boop, boop. Lead off. I know, I'm having a shower. Shut up. Oh, oh is this going to beep the entire time that I have a shower? That's going to be annoying. Shut up. And wash. Oh. Gross. Right, so, if we can ignore the beeping, I just need to take these bits off. These bits go in the bin. And then I put new stickers on after my shower, once I'm dry. These are so sweaty and grim. Oh, okay, showered, dry. Let's have a go at this yellow, green, red. Got it. This is what the little stickers look like before you take the backing off them. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can have one more shower before I take it off. So I'll just follow where I've got marks on my skin. One. That way. There. Oh, my skin's a bit sore. To the other side. Whoop. There we go. says we want these are all color coded and it says yellow goes at the top yellow oh yeah green now it's beeping because i'm putting it back on shut up green and red so now it's happy recording again get on with my day now i've just remembered i ordered some of this tape for fancy dress so maybe i can tape this up a bit so that it's not quite so annoying in fact that is what i'm going to do <laughs> i've really not done a good job of that that's a bit better now i can just wear it on the side of my shorts, put t-shirt on, problem solved. On this day, I decided to go out for a much more gentle walk and find somewhere to have a drink and a bit of cake. As you can see, there's pretty much no way of telling that I'm wearing this under my t-shirt. It's very discreet. But if I had wanted to wear, say, a crop top and it had be on full display, then I would just want everyone to be okay with that and to learn not to say anything and just to be kind to people who have to wear medical devices. Uh, so, slight problem here <laughs> in that this says that the recording has been terminated. It's I noticed it said this when I woke up first thing this morning. I thought maybe it would have come back on by now, but it hasn't. So I think I'm just going to keep wearing it and then when I have a shower and take it off, if it's not making any beeping noises or doing anything, then I just won't put it back on. But um, that's a bit of a bummer because I have no means, no way, no how, no idea really how to charge this. So um, I guess this is just a 24 hour ECG, not 72 hour. But uh, never mind, we tried. Well, this is an abrupt ending to that video. Essentially, it didn't come back on. The recording was well and truly over. The battery was dead. <laughs> it just gave up on me. So I suspect what happened was that by accident, they gave me one that was only meant for 24 hours instead of 72. You can have these things done for 72, 48 or 24 hours. So I think there was a bit of a mix up there and yeah, I just didn't have one that was charged up enough to do a 72 hour recording. So in the end, I just took it off 
and um, carried on about my day and didn't film anything else. In terms of getting it back to them, all I had to do was put it in an envelope that they gave me and post it back to the hospital. And I suspect I will hear any findings they had from it when I next have a consultation with my cardiologist. But I hope that was helpful. I just really wanted to take you through and show how normal things like this are for a lot of people. And just as a reminder to, as I said, be kind, don't say anything where it's not your place. If you see someone wearing something like this or any other medical device, unless someone offers up that information or opens up the space where you're able to ask questions, just don't, it's not your business. And that's how you make sure that even people who have to wear medical devices still get to have a hot girl summer. It's important to do your bit. This has been a very brief outro because it's very hot and to be honest, I'd quite like to turn all the lights off and lie down in a dark room. But thank you so much for watching. I've got loads more videos planned and no idea when I will upload them. So if you want to make sure you don't miss those, you're going to have to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications and never miss a video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a little comment. Ask any questions if you want. I will do my best to answer them. Until next time, peace out.